Here we have the Puri bag, which is a system that's been designed specifically to work alongside the PNG satchels uh, purifiers of water. Uh, it's ideal for situations where you're in the bush or you're outdoors and you don't have a municipal or direct line source water, but you do have a dam or a river or an open source water. It allows you to collect water that might have a lot of sediment and bacteria in it. And then using the PNG satchels, uh, get the sediment to flocculate out and remove a lot of the bacteria. Typically, it takes about half an hour after filling it with the PNG satchel for you to use the water. Now, that water after half an hour should be fine to drink, but what you'll probably find is you're going to have a lot of chlorine and a lot of um, uh, uh, a bit of a chemical taste in the water. Now, it's not harmful, but it's not very pleasant. And in those situations, we'd recommend using the Puri bag system alongside something like uh, the Soya Mini with the carbon filter or uh, the water to go bottles. Now, what the carbon filters inside both these systems will do is they'll reduce that chlorine taste. It'll also remove any, anything that might have survived or any, any fine, fine sediments. Now, the, basically the difference between these two systems is this does have a larger area for carbon. So it's going to last longer than say the smaller cartridges that are inside the water to go. But in either case, it's a nice way to, to almost polish off the water so that it tastes nicer um, uh, irrespective of the chlorine. Now, one thing just to keep in mind is if you are taking from a water that has a high mineral content, in other words, a lot of salt, um, none of these systems are going to change that. That, unfortunately, is a mineral-based problem, um, but they will remove your sediment and it will remove your organisms and your bacteria from the water. This is how you use the Puri bag uh, filtration system. First thing you want to do is you want to remove the two clips and the 12 PNG satchels that you get from the bag so that it's empty. Then you find your source water. And one of the more interesting parts is filling it. All right. All right. Once you have it filled with your desired amount of water, you then take the end and take your only take one of the PNG satchels, which of course now I don't want to tear. <laughs> ah, thank you. You always need a side tick in the background. Okay. Take your satchel. Pour the contents into the bag. Then take this purple clip. You want to fold the end like this. Fold the end. All right. Then for five minutes, you want to shake it to make sure that all the PNG satchel contents get mixed into the water. All right, so there. You're then going to take this after your five minutes of shaking, and you want to hang it up on a hook or possibly a tree or bush in the um, wherever you are, and you're going to leave it for 30 minutes for all the contents to settle out. Hi, guys. Okay, literally in the time it's taken us to walk from the dam that we filled up to here, it's already started flocculating all the dirt and the mud and everything out. Now we're going to leave it in our tree here to hang for half an hour and settle out the rest of it as well as kill all the bacteria in the water. And then we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so we've left it now for 30 minutes and you can see how much of the sediment has actually settled out. Uh, it was an extreme case of a water. So ideally in like real work situations, we'd probably leave it to stand for 10, 15 minutes more. Um, but for the space of this video, so your last, your final step before using the water is to take the blue clip down to where most of the dirt in that is. You want to try squeeze it so that you keep the dirt down. Which is, you can see how much dirt this is actually captured. Oops. Ah. So we've trapped most of it now. Some has come back up, so I'll probably leave this to stand for a little bit longer just to settle that. But what I really want to show you is when I take this clip off of here, is what actually this has taken out of the water. And I mean, you can imagine you would, this is not something you want to drink. And that is basically all been removed from this water. I mean, you can see it's slimy and not very pleasant to feel actually. Now, 
this is going to settle down again. Now, what we did, what we did find with water like this is there's still very, very fine particles and things like that. So in their kind of cases, what we would do is we use the water that's already been used in here with the chlorine and everything, and we use the combination of something like a water to go bottle or something like a soya filter with a sediment filter just to remove the remaining chlorine and to remove the sediment and the dirt of that. All right, guys, so in conclusion, what we found of our little test there with quite frankly, a quite a seriously, seriously dirty water, is actually that that's an extreme water. Uh, we actually used, put too much of that water into this bag, which is why so much flocculated at the bottom. So in hindsight, we should have used a little bit less water because then we would have had less flocculation build up at the bottom. And when we went to clip it, it wouldn't have rised up. So a few things just to note for, for with regards to the Puri bags is you need to clip it quite tightly. Um, and when you do use a bag and you finish with it and you get back home, it's a good idea to rinse it out. Use something like Jick or even an AquaTab just to clean it out and give it a good clean. And then just one other thing, guys, that we didn't show in that previous video I realized is the way that the actual tab works is you simply press it up to get your water coming out.